This is Andrew from Email Marketing NYC, and today I'll show you how to create replenishment flow. If you have some kind of subscription uh, product, let's say you have like supplements, or maybe you have food for do dogs, for your pets, or something else that needs to be replenished on a consistent basis, like monthly or annually, or I don't know, like, like depends what, what schedule it is for you. Today, I'll show you how to use it, how, how, how use Klaviyo to your benefit to sell more. So first, let's go to Klaviyo, like into your Klaviyo. On the left side, you click on flows. And there's many ways to do it. I'll show you one way. If you don't like it, you can, can come up with something else, but at least you will have a baseline from uh, on which you can build on so let's do so let's say a matrix let's say matrix place order and you want to filter to specific order This is my, let's say this is just assume because I don't have any subscription and it's a dummy account. Uh, let's say this is the first order. You just want to do thank you and blah, blah, blah um, email. So another thing that you want to do is to, you want to create a field to know when they order it so you can follow up with them next month or next year it depends so you actually you want to capture the date and on that date you want to follow up them in the future so so we do update profile and we you might have existing property or in this example i'll just show you like a subscript subscript you click date and you use current date when it's re reached. And by the way, so uh, sometimes you don't want to use the exact date uh, when they place order because when they place order today, let's say today, I mean, today is uh, December 19th, they place order today, you need to give them time for to receive the order. So put what you can do, uh, time delay, you can put average delivery time for for your product or you can um, let's say if you have a ship station or something you can condition wait until that action happened and when that action happened they like receive delivery you will update that uh, subscription date so they receive that product on that specific day so like you assume i mean there's some uh, some assumptions you assume that they will start using on that that date or next date. So let's say, um, let's say we allowed seven days, seven days, then we will update to current current subscription date, correct? So this is the first part of a replenishment flow. This is when you send email when the first time bought it. And then what you want to do, you want to create another flow Let's call it part two. But this time you do it date property. And since uh, that uh, subscription uh, field did not trigger yet, I'm not able to pull that information. So let's say, assume I'll, I'll use created, uh, one account was created, but um, f from your, like in the future, you would like, after at least one person will their property will be updated you will be able to use that property in time triggered flow so now you do on person created like the question is do you want to do this on like on that specific date or maybe one week before so i mean in this case in our examples one week before because it takes seven days so maybe not seven let's say nine days before so let's say they subscribe today and on 19th they receive it on 26th so the idea is you will head 
with another email on 26 and seven days one two three four five six seven eight nine so on the 17th they will receive a um, reminder to update their subscription so there's enough time to receive on 26 and yeah and let's say if it's monthly subscription you click on monthly and yeah so this is wait and blow up this is what person created before created and then what we want to do we want to add email so try to create like a generic email so it can be used on monthly basis and you can create flow filter place order zero times since starting this flow so let's say if you have more than one email let's say you have three emails or five emails uh they will be excluded if, if they purchase from first email second email third so they don't receive the rest of email and next month they will be added to this uh automation uh, this flow again please let me know if, if you have any additional questions about this flow and feel free to ask me any other questions about clavio and please subscribe to this YouTube channel since we are releasing this video daily. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click like button below. Please comment below and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this YouTube channel. Also, if you are not subscribed yet, click subscribe button below and click on the bell button to receive notifications when we release new video. We release new tutorial every day and educational video every Thursday.